Padmug is the intelligent tool for website lead generation. With increasing online competition, over 98% of website visitors don't convert. The ability to successfully show your value proposition and support visitors in their buying journey separates you from the competition online. Pathmon qualifies and converts leads on your website by figuring out where they are in the buying journey and influencing them in key decision moments with relevant micro experiences like case studies, intro videos, and much more. Stay relevant to your visitors and increase conversions by 50%. Add Pathmon to your website in seconds. Let the AI do all the work and get access to 50% more qualified leads while you keep doing marketing and sales as usual. Check us on pathmon.com. Welcome to today's episode. Let's talk about today's guest. We have Katie Stone, SEO team lead there at Lead Hub. How are you doing today, Katie? Hi, uh, I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Uh, it's great to have you on. And well, I'm sure our listeners are tuning in wondering what Lead Hub is all about. So uh, let's kick it off with that, Katie, in your own words. Can you tell us a little bit more? Yeah, uh, for sure. Lead Hub is a full service, full service marketing agency. We serve primarily the trades industries, so HVAC, plumbing, electrical, anything you can think of. If it's work done on a house, we can market it. Um, we were started in 2011 by Benjamin Hubbard. He owned a HVAC company called Champion AC, and he saw a gap in the market for Google Ads and people to run Google Ads. He was having a lot of success there. so. He was like, how about I just start my own advertising agency to run my own Google ads? And uh, the rest is kind of history from there. We went straight from a PPC SEO company to commercials and direct mail, literally every avenue uh, of marketing you can think of, website development, we do it. Definitely important uh, in, in today's world, right? Especially for those, for those traits. So awesome to hear that. And and so that way, then our listeners could get a good understanding there of of lead hub, Katie. Then, what would you say is that key problem that you guys like to solve for clients? Yeah. So obviously, our name is Lead Hub. Uh, the biggest thing our clients are looking for is leads. So uh, we work very closely with them, uh, not only for lead generation and acquisition through all marketing platforms. Um, but we also really focus on marrying uh, marketing with operations to make sure that their businesses are, you know, working to their advantage. Like we're so focused on the industry. Obviously we were started by someone who owned an HVAC company. So we were really built by the trades for the trades. And we work really close with them on optimizing their CRMs and any sort of internal operations, outbound, inbound marketing. Uh, we work with them on that. Okay, perfect. Great, great to hear that. So then uh, would it be fair to say that those would be the only verticals that you guys like to go for? Or maybe being in an agency, you started going into an, in another type of vertical uh, there at the hub? Yeah. Um, it, uh, it, uh, home services is really our bread and butter, but we do have some uh, outliers here as well. We do uh, serve a few lawyers. Um, and uh, I believe we at one point had physical therapists. We had a nursing home. So we... Uh, we'll hear your case, obviously, but uh, people know us for our home service marketing. Definitely. Okay, perfect. Awesome. And and so what would you say then is is Lead Hub's main uh, top client acquisition channel for you guys? Uh, our acquisition channel, um, a lot of it is genuinely word of mouth. Um, our clients really enjoy us. Um, and I think uh, pretty much everyone in the trades knows each other. It's a very tight-knit community. And I think when they know they have something special, they're going to go talk about it. So that's been really great for us to have uh, such a tight knit community as like our client base. But also uh, we do um, get a lot of inbound leads specifically from uh, Service Titan. Service Titan is a CRM for the trades, uh, one of the biggest. And we are a official marketing partner of Service Titan, which is a um, pretty exclusive club. I don't want to toot our own horn, but... Yes, I do. Uh, it was a lot of hard work um, to get us uh, to that point where we could, you know, call ourselves a Service Titan partner. Our CEO, Aaron Waters, worked really, really hard um, to get us to that point, and so did everyone on the team. So uh, we do get a lot of leads coming directly from Service Titan, which is great. Um, we're well versed with the platform, so we know how to help our clients optimize its usage um, or better marketing overall they have um 
uh, we we help them with their uh, review acquisition and drip campaigns, any sort of outbound email marketing. We can handle that through Service Titan or really any other platform, but Service Titan is um, one of our biggest uh, lead sources. Um, and we also work with Yelp. Uh, Yelp, we were a uh, designated Yelp partner as of last year, and very quickly, uh, we were able to win a Yelp Advertising Partner Award for a software uh, or an automation that we created and developed here with uh, AI. We call it Lead Reply. Um, basically, it's an auto responder responder for Yelp uh, leads that takes kind of that um, lead response time out of the equation so that our clients can jump on those leads as quickly as possible. Perfect. Awesome. Great, great, great to hear that. Uh, some some news there from, from you guys. And uh, and so that way our listeners who are tuned in could go ahead and visit you. They could always check you out at leadhub.net. What yes. role then does the website play for client acquisition? Yeah. So um, obviously uh, I am the SEO lead. So uh, everything that I'm focused on is really almost entirely on our website, except for, you know, link building and everything. Um, but yeah, websites play a very pivotal role. Uh, for pretty much any element of digital marketing. Uh, it's where it's where our customers and clients land. Uh, it's where they can get all of the information they need about our team, um, our terms of, like, some, something as nitty-gritty as terms and services and everything like that. Um, but it also gives us a great, um, basically a digital billboard that exists everywhere. Um, that anyone can reach. And it is the main landing page uh, for any of our ads, um, any keywords that people are searching for, digital marketing near me, obviously, uh, when they Google that, uh, we want to be the ones to come up. So it is important when we do get uh, quite a bit of uh, inbound leads from our website. Definitely important. So that on that note, then, uh, Katie, is there any tools or tips that you would recommend to our, our listeners as far as some website lead generation? Oh, yeah. Um so let's see, I'm more on the organic side. So obviously um, I really like to use SEMrush. Um, SEMrush is a major, major uh, SEO platform, um, a bit pricey, but for me, it's really worth it. I help, it helps me do my job really well. Uh, it helps me identify um, any sort of keyword and competitor research I need for any of my clients' websites, but also for Lead Hub's site as well. Um, we can oversee uh, basic leads and um, anything through that platform. So it really helps us uh, come up with our strategy and kind of see how we're performing. Definitely important. All right, great, great, great to hear that from, from you guys there. Well, let's switch gears a little bit and let's talk about you as a leader. You being the SEO team lead there for Lead Hub, what are some key tasks you like to focus on your day-to-day -day work? Yeah, so um, every day is different. I know that's kind of a cop-out answer. Um, but truly with SEO, literally anything changes from day to day. We're very reliant on uh, Google's algorithms. So I'm uh, pretty deep in the trenches of staying up to date on latest industry news, trends, getting into the SEO community and um, really identifying uh, what we can be using for our own strategies here at Lead Hub. I want to make sure that we're on the cutting edge and we're not being left behind uh, by anything in these updates or anything, Google's currently rolling out a major, major update. So I've been on my toes every single day watching our rankings. Um, but obviously I oversee a team, so uh, I'm managing them. Uh, it's a great team, lovely. Uh, love working with them and uh, they know what they're doing. So I feel very confident <laughs> to let them kind of go. But I do oversee the main strategy of all of our accounts. Uh, everything from competitor research, keyword research, I do oversee a lot of that information. Awesome. All right. Great, great, great to hear that. And um, um, so that in the between time, how do you stay up to date with all the marketing news, trends, uh, uh, what, what, what's going out there? Is there a preferred channel that you like to stay up with, up, up to date with that? Yeah. So um, <laughs> I am one of the lone survivors of uh, Twitter slash X now. <laughs> um, I am on there all the time. Uh, I am deep into the SEO communities on there. It's gotten a little uh, less popular now that it's X, um, but I still find some really good nuggets there. 
I um, stay up to date with the latest industry publications as well. So uh, the two biggest ones are um, Search Engine Journal and uh, SEO Roundtable. Uh, they have the best information. Uh, Barry Schwartz is an SEO god. Um, I follow him. Uh, Marie Haynes, I follow her on Twitter. If you're in SEO, those are two must-follows. Um, they know everything. So I do a lot of my learning uh, by following them on social media and uh, their respective news outlets. Absolutely. All right, Greg, some great, great there for, for our listeners to go ahead and check them out. Um, and then let's jump into our next section here, Katie, which is our rapid fire question rounds. Are you ready for them? Yeah, sounds great. Perfect. Awesome. Then first off then, Katie, is what is the last book that you read? Ooh, um, I read Take Your Own Advice by Jeffrey Marsh. All right there. In interesting read there for, for our listeners. Uh, next up then is if there would be no boundaries in technology, what would be that one thing that you want to have fixed for your role as a marketer today? Oh my gosh, uh, lead acquisition or uh, lead tracking, um, and uh, any sort of acquisition of, uh, like channels, knowing where everything came from correctly the first time uh, would be fantastic. Instead of having to hunt down where all of our leads are coming from, uh, we just need the platforms to all talk to each other. That would be lovely. <laughs> I think that would be amazing. All right, perfect, awesome. Yeah. Uh, then next up is if if there's one repetitive task that you could automate, what would that be? Uh, keyword research. I know a lot of people are talking about it for AI and that AI can be used for keyword research, and it can for like some like idea generation. But ultimately, I have to do a lot of the uh, heavy lifting with, for keyword research and identifying trends, um, what people are searching for, and ultimately identifying the intent behind the keywords because that's something that AI is not quite ready for yet. Definitely. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Uh, next up then um, is, and I, I mean, you, you're, you have some experience already there in the marketing world, but what is that one piece of advice that you would give yourself if you were to restart your journey as a marketer today? Yeah, so um, I would tell myself to get involved in uh, the marketing and SEO community sooner rather than later. Um, I was always a really shy kid growing up. So uh, when I kind of got into college and I needed to start networking, that was really, really daunting for me. And even at the beginning of my career, that was really, really daunting. Um, but now I have become a lot more brave <laughs> reaching out to people. Uh, and there's a lot of experience share that can happen uh, in the SEO community, especially with um, the way things change from day to day. Um, so many people run amazing experiments and uh, being able to learn and grow from all of these people kind of going through the same thing as you is just, it's invaluable. Definitely. All right. Some some great their advice, not just for yourself, but for our listeners. And well, uh, Katie, it's been a pleasure to have you on with us today. I do do, do want to appreciate it. But before we do end, I do want to ask uh, and, and say uh, and give you the last word. So say if someone forgets everything about the interview today, what is that one thing they should remember about Lead Hub? Oh, yeah. Um, well, ultimately, at the end of the day, Lead Hub is your marketing partner. Um, we are in it with you. Uh, we definitely want to be an extension of your business, not just a vendor. So any time you're if you're a trades company or even something a little different, uh, definitely reach out to lead hub we have got your marketing covered um yeah <laughs> well there you guys heard it thank you so much katie for being on with us today to our listeners thank you so much for tuning in and i'm looking forward to our next episode at path monk presents thanks a lot katie thank you